Hello, and welcome back to the SolidWorks Composer Quick Start Guide, a new video series designed to orient new users in Composer and familiarize them with some of its basic functionality. In the last video, we outlined how to use the High Resolution Image Workshop to create great looking images of your assemblies. In this video, we're going to talk about how to create animations from your existing CAD assemblies. Let's get started. To get started, we need to switch into animation mode by clicking the icon in the top left corner of the viewport. If the animation timeline isn't displayed at the bottom of your screen, go to the Home tab at the top and click the Animation button to make it appear. This is where we'll do most of our work in creating this animation. You can see a variety of rows in the timeline. There's one for location, properties, viewport, camera, and the digger. Each of these are pieces of data you can save in the timeline as keys. We'll walk through each of these in the process of creating a simple animation. You can see that I've pulled up our bench grinder in the viewport. Let's say that we're in the process of assembling it. The last cover needs to be put on, as well as the screws that secure it into place. Let's start by creating the first frame of our animation. I'll arrange our piece in the viewport, and create a new set of initial keys by clicking the Set Keys and Set Camera Keys buttons. Now, this orientation is saved at the beginning of the timeline. Now we can move the cover into place. Before we do so, we need to think about when we want this animation to happen. Animations in Composer are created by linking the various keys in the timeline together. Hence, if we want this motion to happen quickly, we would set this new key for 0.5 seconds in. I want this to take a little bit longer than that, so I'll move the cursor in the timeline to one second. Now I'll move the cover into place. You'll notice that a new location key was automatically created. This is because I have the Auto Keys option selected. This will automatically create new keys based on changes made in the viewport. We can also create keys using views of your assembly. I'll turn off the Auto Keys function so I can show how this is done. I'll move the screws onto the cover, then create a view of our assembly. Now, if I want to create keys, all I need to do is click and drag our view to the desired point in the assembly timeline. Now if we move our cursor to the beginning of the animation and play it, you'll see how smoothly Composer is able to link the two keys that we created. The Animation Workshop is an incredibly robust tool that can be used to depict something as simple as a jar opening to something as complicated as a virtual roller coaster ride. But what we just made is on the simpler side of what is possible within Composer, we hope this video was helpful in getting you familiar with this critical piece of our software. As always, remember to subscribe to our YouTube channel to stay up to date with all the latest videos in the series, as well as other fantastic pieces of Composer content. We hope you enjoyed the video, and we'll see you next time.